everyone and welcome to Expedition TV. I'm your host Amanda Kulong and we are here in Telluride, Colorado for Mountain Film and I am so excited to be joined right now by Oscar nominated director Lucy Walker. How are you? I'm so happy to be here. So beautiful. Oh, it's so gorgeous. We're just talking about how, how mm. idyllic it is. I mean the kids running around yeah. and the mountains all around us. I wish you could see all of them. Yeah. You will get some footage of that from us later though. Um, but Lucy, I, I really want to talk to you about, well a couple of things. Number one, mm. everyone talks about just the heart that you reach with mm. all of your films. I mean, all right. I, I have to bring tissues when I go see <laughs> your films. I mean, seriously, you've got Wasteland, The Crash Reel, Tsunami and the Cherry Blossoms, The Secrets of the Mongolian Archers. I mean, mm. so diverse, these different topics, mm -hmm. yet you're able to get these this rich character out of every single person. How do you do that? Ooh. How? Ooh. It's a large question. But how well, do you I do think that? it's there in life. I think life is so emotional and, you know, this crazy life that we're living. We are, you know, there's so much emotional power to it. And, and I guess I want my films to be as emotionally powerful as real life. In fact, okay. even more so, because, uh, I think Hitchcock once said that a uh, film is real life with the boring parts cut out. <laughs> that's and that's so tricky true. when you're making documentaries because uh, without a script, it's, you know, but real life is actually kind of a bit boring and messy. So you want to kind of, uh, if you're going to take up 90 minutes and tell a story, you want it to be really intense and pay off and, and be worth spending 90 minutes out of your own emotional experience to spend in somebody else's or, you know, with a subject that's distant from you. And, um, but that's, I think that's such a beautiful compliment because that's exactly what I'm trying to do, I think. And if Good. I'm, if you're, if it's working for you, then I'm thrilled. I'm telling you, tissues. We, you should hand out packets of tissues <laughs> when everyone's screening these movies of mountain film because everyone does say that about your work. And yeah. is there a process that you personally go through in terms of kind of peeling back the layers for those characters or, or identifying some of those aha moments that mm. you know are just going to trigger the audience's emotion? Mm. Well, I guess one thing that I really like to do is just immerse in the subject and really try to, and like a good doctor, try to understand before you diagnose, I guess. Yeah, and actively then, listening, you know, yeah. just kind of observing, I think. Yeah. Because hmm. I, I said, I think life is very emotional, but we kind of run around distracted by celebrity fashion stories or like ice cream that everyone's eating ice cream <laughs> over there at the moment, you know. And we don't often sort of sit around thinking about like the biggest most you know important moments in life or the mm -hmm. biggest emotional turning points and and influences and all these kind of things but in a film you're you're looking to try and get those most important parts yeah are there is there any particular film that you hold in high regard that maybe mm -hmm. served as that that basis for you to start doing all of this oh gosh so many i've loved yeah. so many films and um, all kinds from documentaries to the Philadelphia story. <laughs> there are a couple of documentaries that I always point to um, uh, because they blew my mind. One is Streetwise, mm -hmm. a 1984, I believe, um, documentary about street kids in Seattle. Mm -hmm. And it was so intimate. You couldn't believe that the camera was in the room with these teenagers mm -hmm. because so much was going on. These kids were falling in love. and. Um, confronting their parents and one dies and uh, it's just so much going on and, and you, you just don't know how the camera got in that room because yeah. it's beautifully seamlessly operated and I could th thought what filmmakers are these that they can um, be in the lives of the characters so um, incredibly that you you feel like you're in the room without any mediation I mean you really get to understand what it, what these characters are going through. You feel just so immediately present with mm -hmm. what they're going through. It's so moving. And um, the other that I really love is Hoop Dreams. Mm -hmm. When I was making my first film, Devil's Playground, choice. about Amish kids, I really looked at that a lot because um, it's just so brilliant on so many levels. But one of the things I love about films is that longitudinal thing when um, I could also talk about the Seven Up series Michael Apted did, mm -hmm. where you 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 see real life um, condensed into the length uh, time span of a movie, and when you see time acting on people so sped up that you see years pass within an hour or two, um, 
you sort of get to glimpse how life unfolds for people. Mm. It's so interesting. And again, the, the verite quality, the immediate quality, and the way the filmmakers were able to have this intimate relationship with the people that was so authentic and so under the skin and so um, compassionate was really, um, and just the technique of it all, given the Bare Bones crew and stuff like that. Yeah. The fact that it was also a beautiful movie um, that really paid off, stunningly edited, all that. So these these were two films that I always pick out as great mm. big influences. I can see that when yeah. I think about your movies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think the final question I really mm. want to ask you here is, how do you know when it's, it's time, it's time to make that next story. It's time to make that next documentary. Is it something that just, just comes to you? Is it something that, that you see out in society? I mean, is it a place you want to go? How do you know that that's the next thing? Right. Um, I, I kind of feel like all my films have been things I can't say no to. Huh. There hasn't been a choice. I just, I'm riveted. I can't get enough. The more I think about it, the more interesting it gets. I, I think about a lot of possible projects. Every, every sitting right here, I'm yeah, like, huh, oh, this, that, the other, meeting What's you next? up there. <laughs> Everything is a possibility. And that's one thing that I'm so lucky and love about my job. Um, but the things that really I can't help myself from wanting to know the answer to, or I just can't stop thinking about, um, it's, I've never had a real dilemma. I have a funny phrase as well, which is kind of, I think I read it in the context of spring cleaning, uh -huh. but it works for films as well. If in doubt, leave it out, <laughs> you know, so if, if in doubt, throw it out. If you're not completely gripped, don't bother making a film because it's so hard to make a documentary and mm. it's so hard to get people to go see a documentary. You're not, uh, you know, you feel like you're dragging people across town to eat broccoli or something. It's just not, it's not uh, hey, the sexiest. I think broccoli is fabulous <laughs> and we should all be eating it. But see, I make documentaries, so I'm not the right person to ask. But you ask most people, they'll take the ice cream or whatever. Like here. Yeah, that's right out in their fridge at home. They're not gonna like get a babysitter across town and spend a lot of money to learn about some terrible problem in the world. So, um, you know, uh, it's gotta be really, really compelling. If, if you are in doubt, then, you know, it's gonna be extra hard when you get an audience. Which isn't say, so they all, you always know exactly how things are gonna go down, but mm. you can kind of, you, you can tell, and you just have to be so compelled. So all my projects have been sort of questions that I need to see answered, things that I really, I'm completely driven by and almost can't help myself. It's easier when I'm not, I'm not filming. It's easier, yeah. it's a big responsibility when you have a project, you wanna do everything you can to make it the best possible project it can possibly be, which is exhausting and <laughs> often ruins your own life because you have to sort of spend all your time in somebody else's life or just working so hard, but, um, but you, you make can't us help want to yourself. spend time in other people's lives. And that's that's because I can't help myself, and I'm so excited to be there. And if I'm doing a good job, then yes, you should be as excited as I am to have that privilege. And I really see my job sometimes as this great privilege of introducing amazing people in the audience to amazing people on the screen that they don't get to meet in everyday life. So I actually go to the garbage dump in Brazil or go to the disaster area in Japan or go to um, the hospital with yeah. the brain injury, brain injured snowboarder um, or go to Mongolia and meet the archers or go to Amish country and go to a crazy crystal meth hoedown with the Amish kids or, or climb Everest with my film Blind Sight with a bunch of blind Tibetan students. All kinds of adventures which most people are not going to get around to doing. Right. There's just all kinds of reasons why most people aren't going to go along on those trips. But because I go and I take a film crew and can tell the story, then other people can get to meet these unbelievable people. I mean, my films are all about unbelievably beautiful, amazing people who, when the going gets tough, just dig deep and find um, triumphant uh, ways to be human beings that I'm so excited to show to all of us because I feel like we can all be so inspired by them. And we are. We are absolutely inspired by them. And everyone here at Mountain Film is inspired by them. And you're the great connector, Lucy Walker. <laughs> I hope so. I love that title. Thank you so much. Lucy nice Walker's to talk to a great connector. Wonderful talking with you too. Hopefully we'll see you again here. I'd love that. Thank you. Wonderful. And I'm Amanda Kulong here with Expedition TV.